But even outside the month of Ramadan, there is the beauty. Do you know what that beauty is? A lot of us tend to forget it. But I call on you to adopt it after Ramadan. You could fast for one whole month for the sake of Allah, compulsory fast. What about voluntary? Let's try it out as well. Subhanallah. In every act of worship, we have compulsory and voluntary. Take a look at Hajj. You have the pilgrimage that is the major one known as Hajj. And then you have the voluntary, which is known as Umrah, which is the minor pilgrimage. Many of us are so keen on going for Umrah that Subhanallah, if we were able to go at any given time, especially now in the beautiful month of Ramadan, we would. Then you have Salah, you have the Farad of your prayer and you have the voluntary. Many of us fulfill voluntary. We are actually required to do that in the sense that it would be something meritorious, something really good for you. This is amazing. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's gift for you. How many of us are ready to increase our voluntary prayer? In the month of Ramadan, the reward is multiplied. Allah says we are multiplying it so that you get used to it. So that after Ramadan, you don't just say, okay, Farad alone. Add a little bit of voluntary prayer even after Ramadan. Come on, Allahu Akbar. May Allah make it easy for us. Then you have, for example, zakah. When it comes to zakah and charity, what do you have? You have that which is compulsory and then you have voluntary sadaqat. That which is in some places of the world termed lillah, which means for the sake of Allah, I'm just giving. It's over and above my charity. Two and a half percent I worked out, but I'm embarrassed because the Christians are giving 10% of their salary. I'm only giving two and a half percent of my annual saving. I'd rather give a little bit more for the sake of Allah. To please Allah, I'm going to give another 10%. Ready to do that? Well, the Christians are doing it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us become givers. Those who can give and those who can do it in a beautiful way for the sake of Allah. Not because others are doing it or not. That is besides the point. It's only an example we draw. But we have a greater encouragement straight from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What about fasting? Why do we falter there? Let's be honest. The bulk of us, myself included, we are guilty of making sure Ramadan we fast. But after Ramadan, how often do we fast? How much of the voluntary fasting comes into effect? When, when a research on BBC tells you that it's healthy to fast twice a week, we start thinking about it. But when Muhammad sallallahu said it 1436 years back, we haven't yet given it a second thought. Monday and Thursday, I encourage you to fast. Wallahi, it will improve your health and it will increase your concentration. It will do a lot for the toxins and the removal of them from your system. And by the will of Allah, it will act as a beautiful antioxidant. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us achieve good health. Amazing. Look at this. So Allah is telling us, you know what? We will give you a multiplied reward. What a beautiful multiplied reward. Let's take a look at it. The hadith says, Man saama Ramadan, thumma atba'ahu sittam min shawwal, kana ka siyam al-dahr. Wa thalika li anna al-hasanata bi'ashri amthaliha. Whoever fasts the month of Ramadan, and then adds another six days of shawwal, voluntary, they will have the reward of having fasted the entire year. Wow. Imagine you work for one month and then they tell you just add another six days and we give you a salary for the whole year. Look at the smiles, mashallah. Salary for the whole year. When it comes to the rand and the dollar, we are fast, we are quick. When it comes to the currency of the akhirah, shaitan makes us lag behind. Don't let that happen. Let's make an intention now. This year, I'm going to fast the six fasts of Shawwal, inshallah. I make that intention and I hope you join me in it as well. May Allah make it easy for us to fulfill it. I mean, we say it every year. Do we do it? We watch others doing it. Do we do it? Let's be honest. Subhanallah. So by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have the month of Ramadan. Allah multiplies it by 10. It becomes worth 10 months. There is a shortfall of two months because the year has 12 months. How do we get that? Well, three days would multiply by 10, giving you 30 days, which means a month approximately. And another 30 days, which is another month. So that would be six days. So six days of Shawwal multiplied by 10. You have your two months. Amazing. Look at the calculation. Look at the mercy of Allah. And guess what? Every month Allah says you fast three days, the 13th, 14th and 15th of the lunar calendar. And guess what? We will multiply it for you by 10. You get the reward of the whole month once again. Subhanallah.